freaking oh, hockey. Oh my god, go, go, Holy go. hell, I'm not go. good on ice. Go. No, the moment we walk in and I felt the cold, I knew we were ice skating. I knew it was gonna be rough. Come to me gently. This is ice. <laughs> I don't do good on ice at all. The girls arrive at the freezing cold skating rink just the way I like them. And next to nothing, this is gonna be a good challenge. That was a clip from season three of the hit VH1 reality show Rock of Love with Poison frontman Brett Michaels, but this time the show goes on the road. The Rock of Love bus is traveling the country. For more on the new season, Brett Michaels joins us now live from New York with more. Brett, nice to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me on. This show is in its third season, phenomenally successful for you. Why is it such a hit? Here, here is my theory and only a theory. Um, first of all, and I, and, I, and I say this, you know, when, we, when, he, when I went in to do this the first time, I think that the reason that it hit so big is that I told them I just need to be who and what I am. And, and I said my acting skills are limited. Mm -hmm. So I said if, if you're trying to script this reality, it will be an absolute disaster. I said just let me go in, be me, have fun, throw a great party. And I think also with a lot of people they realize a lot of reality is completely scripted. Mm -hmm. And I think what they realize with this show is that they see that it is completely out of control, a lot of fun. And, and they just let me be me. And I promise in the beginning to the girls that, look, it's a dating show. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be a good time. And I'm not coming in saying that we're going to be married and all this stuff. I just say, look, it's a dating show. If something great happens and it works out, that would be awesome. So you did have some sort of rapport in the first season with Jess. Then there was Amber. Yeah. I mean, how seriously are you looking for then a casual partner? Is this just more entertainment? No, it's, well, it's, it's both. fortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, it's really entertaining because uh -huh. uh, of me watching me be a, a, make a fool out of myself while dating, which could be a lot of fun, right? But at the same time, when I go in there, obviously, uh, true love, honestly, is, is a great thing. If you can have that, if you feel it, if you find it, it's great. I've, I have found that when you go into these kind of shows when you're doing this, you're not sure the reason all the people are there or for the right reason, the wrong reason. I don't cast it, so I get to meet the girls when they show up uh -huh. and we have a great time and out of this I thought Jess in season one honestly I thought Jess was amazing we had a great time unfortunately I'd never done reality dating I didn't know the rules of it and hadn't watched a lot of it so what was really amazing is when you're done there's a whole lot of time you don't get to spend together until you come back for the reunion um, and by that time I think both of us had moved on with Amber I found her beautiful intelligent funny uh, witty, um, able to roll with with everything except for one minor detail, which was how much time I spend in, in my life and my career out on the road. Mm -hmm. And as a father of two girls, a lot of times off the road, um, I, I spend that just with my daughters or even bring them out with me on the road. And I think that that was pretty eye-opening, but Amber was absolutely great and we ended very amicably, which was cool. Um, and, and this time around, I said this, uh, this would be uh, for me, I'm pretty sure my last time of wanting to do mm -hmm. something like this publicly. Mm -hmm. And I just want to go out, see if it works. If it does, that'd be great. If it doesn't, I had a great, a great time. And I, I thank the fans who tuned in to watch it and the, all the foibles of, of my dating. Interesting foibles, a <laughs> Interesting. lot of skin in the show, interesting antics, a yes. lot of fights with the ladies. You mentioned you have two daughters. Would you ever want them participating in a show like this? I, I can't say that I would be thrilled, you know, <laughs> but uh, but let me say this. Of age, I, I feel that I'm a, I'm a good father. Mm -hmm. I, I got, at least got that right. And I, I think I'm a good dad. I'm, my daughters are young. They're eight and three. And Rain and Georgia, uh, I... I I want to bring them up to be creative, to be fun, to be real. And if they find someone they love, I hope that's that's what happens and it's great. However, them doing a show like this, I, I probably know, I probably wouldn't be too thrilled about it. Yeah. But what are you going to do? You, they, when they get of age, they have to be able to make those decisions on their own. Rain and Georgia, those are beautiful names. Thank nice you. names. You know, Thank the you. show is also something that y you watch and you almost can't stop watching. The ladies are fascinating. I went on the website to try to read more about them, but they don't have bios. So who are they? How did you find them? How did the people that cast them uh, pick them? We go around, well, here's, here's what I do know. They go around the United States and they cast for the show. And here's the thing, when you're casting something like this, by now they're, the, they're very open that 
the, on the show, they say, look, it's going to be Brett Michaels. You know, do you like his music? Do you know his music? Do you know anything about him? I think after the, the first or second season, uh, they, they know a lot more about me. And that's that could be good and bad because yeah. now they know all the right things to say. And for me, I just keep it the same thing. I If you watch what I do or predominantly throughout my career or life, I stick to my guns. I, I tell them what I'm about, what I like. And then what you hope to find is, like I said, you walk into the room, obviously I don't cast it, but I get to meet them all on the first day. And when I see them, as a, as a guy being out there dating, it isn't awful, it doesn't suck to be on a tour with beautiful women and being a single guy, that's great. Mm -hmm. what, what you gotta do, the challenge is trying to find, narrow it down to the one that you think is gonna fit in your life, and that's that's first of all, you got to go in and have that physical, sexual chemistry. You have to have it. Um, then after that, you start looking at: Are they funny? Are they witty? Um, th do they? Are they smart? Um, can you have a good time? And I, when I say smart, I don't mean we're gonna go on a date and hold up flashcards smart. Yeah. But you know that you want someone to get your creativity and understands your lifestyle as much as you understand what what they want to right, do. We're looking at video right now of one of the challenges because you present challenges. <laughs> the show prevents, presents yes. challenges for the ladies. Yes. They walked into an ice rink not knowing what to expect and then they had to show off their hockey skills? Uh, I have never found true love without a good hockey match. Ah, and see. I we're, pay, we're playing baby bread hockey and uh, it is it, I think that you can find true love in mud football, motocross racing, uh, a greased pig challenge, <laughs> Or in this case, we got Truck Stop Olympics too. And I, I feel that in any of these, you can find true love. What is it about love? So many people will, will date and date and date and trying to search for that true love. And for those that are lucky enough to find it, it it's hard to actually express what it is. What is it to you? True love to me, and I, I mean this realistically, true love is when you know, your heart locks in, you, you, you know that everything they do, the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they act, you're in love and you know that two things happen. One, this is when you know I think true love and lust combined. You don't want them to be with someone else. You don't want to say, hey, let's just date. I don't care if you go out with someone else. You start to get those feelings. And then after that, what happens is you find out that they're, as they say, a soulmate. All the great things happen and you hope that's for life. I look at it more on a day-to-day -day basis, meaning every day you make great and all of a sudden it ends up being a really long time. And don't laugh, mm -hmm. I actually do much better in long-term relationships than just, just dating. I, I lock in and they usually last for a long time and, uh, you know, and, and that makes it awesome. But if you don't find that, it doesn't hurt to be in a tour bus with 20 beautiful slash and or crazy women. Uh, you're living so <laughs> many guys' dreams, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm doing it for the guys, oh, you know yeah, that, right? I got taking one for the guys. I'm, yeah, I'm taking the one, yes. Uh, earlier you mentioned that you think this will be the end. Season three will be the end, despite its success. Yep. Is that because you're getting tired of it, you want to try something new, or you think that, that one is in this group of 20? I just, here's the real truth, is the first time I did it, they did this show, honestly, as a, uh, a one-off kind of six-episode show. Um, it was a big hit for them. They made it 12 episodes. Um, it was a big hit for VH1. And after that, uh, I thought with Jess, it was great. It didn't work out. Amber and I worked out great and are still best friends. But this time around, I hope to find somebody. And if not, I'm not really sure that I'm ready to continue on. I, I surely don't want to be doing Rock of Love for me, mm -hmm. Rock of Love 96, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I would like to, I like to hope that I will continue dating, obviously, if this doesn't work out. But maybe for me, I think a, a hybrid show or something uh, different than just dating and I will pass the torch along. And you have a whole new set of fans right now, but let's go back to your core, your music. So many people sure. want to know about your tours. You're touring right now with your new music, which is tied into the show, but what about Poison potentially touring? Here it is for Poison. I'll make this, the truth is, we, CC and Ricky, Bobby, myself, we have been best friends um, through thick and thin, fights, you name it. We're like brothers and we've been together uh, since we're going back to the mid 80s, you know, 86, our first album. Uh, this makes our 14th album. We tour every summer. As a solo artist, I'm out all year round. I love songwriting. I spend a lot of time in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'll be out solo right up until this summer. And then I got a huge announcement, which is uh, just actually happened this morning, oh. is uh, Def Leppard mm -hmm. and Poison are uh, gonna go out on the road uh, this summer. And the reason that's exciting for me, I know it will be the rock tour this summer. 
Poison Def Leppard with all those big hits being out there. We put on a great show. We got a huge fan base. But the one thing the fans get, we always keep the ticket prices down and deliver uh, an absolutely kick. Can I say ass? You can say it. This okay, good. Say we can. <laughs> well, then here we go. We we have an awesome kick ass, <laughs> kick ass rock show, and and I look forward to because I'm. I'm still a fan of music. I'm very passionate about the music I make. And when you can be out in a row with people you like, I've been able to go out with Aerosmith, Kiss, Skinnerd, uh, and to be out with Def Leppard and Poison this summer, I think it's going to be the tour of the summer. Well, I bet one of those ladies would die to be able to be on your tour bus as you are touring with your friends this summer. Thanks so much. Hey, if Atlanta is on your schedule, do stop by CNN.com. Love to meet you in person. You've charmed me. I, really nice talking to you, Brett. Very, thank you very much for having me, and you as well. Best I'll see you this summer. Thank you.